Mom? Yes. I found the page on eagles. Would, would it be good for my science project? Yeah, I think it would be great. What did you want to know? Well, I like to look at some pictures of eagles in flight. Okay, well, there's some pictures here. Maybe there's more. Web browsers are the standard way that people search for and display information on the World Wide Web. Although the information is a communal resource, browsers are still single-user tools that isolate one person from another across the network. Yet in everyday life, people collaborate over information, both through presentations or by sharing documents. When people are in the same room, they can also share and retrieve computer information, including pages on the World Wide Web. The problem is that people separated by distance have a hard time sharing information. What if web browsers were redesigned as groupware that allowed distributed groups to share views of pages? Such a browser would be a valuable presentation tool for real-time distributed meetings for several reasons. First, the ubiquity of the internet removes the complex telephone connections required by many conferencing tools. Second, the prevalence of the HTML document standard on the web means that a large amount of existing information can be brought into the meeting. Third, most people are now familiar with web browsers, so little training would be required. Drawing on research in computer-supported cooperative work, this video illustrates how several basic groupware techniques were applied to the design of our prototype groupware web browser called GroupWeb. GroupWeb is founded on six design requirements. Session management for quick entry into meetings, document slaving for synchronizing pages, relaxed what you see is what I see views to handle display differences, telepointers for enacting gestures, view slaving for synchronous scrolling within pages, and group annotations that can be attached to pages. Each are described next. Here we simulate two people's view of group web by a split screen. Like most web browsers, group web fetches and displays HTML pages. However, several people can link to the same group web session via session manager. As a participant joins, the group web window is created, containing the same page that is being viewed by others. The most basic act of a presenter is selecting material, a slide or page, and bringing it to the group's attention. In group web, the material is an HTML page that the presenter selects by navigating a link. At that point, GroupWeb guarantees that all the browsers in the session retrieve a copy of that page, which we call document slaving. In face-to-face -face meetings, all people see exactly the same thing. This is harder to do on computers, where display sizes and personal desires differ. GroupWeb allows its participants to have windows of different sizes. Text is reformatted to fit the display. While this means that people may not see exactly the same thing, it does provide flexibility for the way each person wishes to view their page. Hand gestures play an important role in any work surface activity, and presentations are no exception. We use them to enact ideas, to signal turn-taking, to focus attention of the group, and to reference objects on the work surface. As with many groupware workspaces, GroupWeb uses telepointers as a way to transmit and display gestures. Because the display is relaxed WYSIWYS, Telepointers are attached to letter positions rather than their literal screen position. As we see here, the pointer will always be over the same text on all displays, even when they are formatted differently. Documents are often long, and people often flip pages from one to the next. Similarly, most HTML pages require scrolling, as they rarely fit completely within a window. But what should happen in one person's view in group web when another person starts scrolling? By default, GroupWeb gives independent scrolling, which is appropriate for loosely coupled collaborations. Feedback on others' location on the page are shown via multi-user scroll bars. Each colored bar represents how much each person can see, as well as the overlap between views, if any. People can also have synchronized scrolling by selecting an option on a menu. This causes the local display to scroll in synchrony with the other. If page sizes differ, the top line is always aligned. We often annotate documents with commentary or to mark their interesting aspects. On the web, retrieved documents are not editable. However, group web users can attach shared annotations such as notes and comments to any page through a multi-user text editor. 
All people see the note as it is being created, and they can simultaneously edit it. Annotations are tied to web pages. Changing to a new page brings up a new note, while returning to a previous page raises its annotation. Let's look at an example of three people sharing a document in group web. Well, let's see what's left to do on this page. Um, web browsers, features, applications. Hmm. Mark? Yep. I think we should look at these applications a little bit. Um, I'm going to, um, let's synchronize our, our views. Do you want to follow me as well? Yeah, all done. Okay, so let's come down to the bottom here. And we have these three applications. Can you explain those to me? Right. Well, what we were thinking of, a presentation tool, obviously, you can just use the web pages as a set of slides. And the one over here. Right, exactly. Um, which is a good application for distance education. You can be running courses over the web um, and conferencing as well. The notes is really good for that. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. So can you think of other, other applications or other ways we might want to apply this? The other page, just for a second, to see what it looks like. Because okay. I do have a question on that for you. Okay, you want to click back there? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to bring you there now. All right, here we go. Okay, now I've left this note here that says to make the logo larger, and I think that this is too small to really be of much use. Right. So perhaps we should enlarge that, that yeah. image to about double its size, yeah. to maybe over here to fill that about that size display. Okay, yeah, we can take care of that, no problem. This video shows how GroupWeb applies the lessons from CSCW research to the design of a GroupWeb web browser. Session managers let people quickly join a meeting. Document slaving synchronizes pages. Relax WYSIWYS allows people to independently resize and reformat their displays. Synchronous scrolling lets people move through a document together for tight collaborations. Telepointers transmit gestures. Finally, annotations let the group leave shared notes on a page. GroupWeb was implemented in GroupKit, our GroupWare toolkit. Papers and software on this and related projects can be retrieved from the World Wide Web.